you work at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, you could soon see a bigger paycheck. In our top story, a bill approved in Washington by the Senate and an earlier version in the House could mean more cash and more training here at home. In fact, the Senate bill calls for a 1.7 increase, a pay increase for military members. But as Megan O'Rourke now joins us live to explain that pay raise could impact the entire community. That's right, 50,000 people is a number working both inside and outside the gates. And while they'll all be directly impacted by this bill, its reach is much more. And for proof, all you have to do is look at communities like Fairborn. It's the lunch rush here at Tickets Pub in downtown Fairborn. The restaurant's been a staple in the Greene County community since 1974. And owner John Zavakis gives his military customers the credit when it comes to the eatery's success. It's very important. Our lunch is 80% of uh, uh, military or base. For proof, all you have to do is look around. Fatigues fill most of the restaurant seats. That's why Zavakis says he was happy to hear about the government's plan to give all uniformed service members a 1.7% pay raise. I think that'd be wonderful, you know. It'd be good for them and it'd be good for me, too. So that's a, that's a positive uh, thing. Dan Reisner is a civilian employee on base, so he wouldn't get the raise, but he still thinks it's a good idea. We need to continue to increase their pay because some of them, uh, especially the younger folks, are, are, uh, are behind on, on house payments and things of that nature. They have families that they need to take care of, so there's a lot they really need that, in my opinion. It's a good thing. In fact, the only potential downside I heard from anyone here at Tickets was that the raises mean more government spending. I'm surprised we're getting it you know, when we think about what's going on with our economy today and what they're doing in Washington, D.C. But Congressman Mike Turner, who voted in support of the House's annual National Defense Authorization Act, says it's money well spent. Well, the pay raise is minimal. It's a very small amount. Uh, it represents really their increased cost of living. Um, as uh, you know, we look to our military, uh, many of them are uh, you know, surviving on very low pay um, and at the same time uh, caring for both their families and protecting our freedoms. Now, I'm told the members of the House and Senate are in conference right now negotiating areas where their bills are different. They expect work to be wrapped up in the near future, and we could see the annual National Defense Authorization Act signed into law in the coming weeks. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.